Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. I feel kind of overdressed for this area with my cosmetics. I got my Gondor armor battle outfit here and yeah, I'm among the primitive people of the forest, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to keep going. This is a guy with a repeatable quest, so I'm not going to bother with him. I've already done that repeatable. I am looking for another Lost Woes who looks like he's somewhere to the north or at least a clue of his whereabouts will be located in the north. And this is my obligatory time to say how much I really am digging this area. You know, I've said it every episode, okay? But I can't help it. It's just so cool. It's like the misty fog, the carvings in the mountains, the music, the drumming, the characters. It's all so interesting. It blows me away every time how unique each area feels in this game. With so much content, it would seem like things would just start to blend together and get very repetitive, but every area just has such unique character. The more I play this game, the more I'm blown away by it. Arriving at the last known location of the Woes Rude Polo Drot, you spot footprints. The tracks meander slowly, moving deeper into the woods. Let me follow these. And a little bit this way. You find Rude Polodrot unharmed, but he runs off before you get a chance to speak with him. He disappeared. My god, he's a ghost. Defeat the unknown creature. Is it this thing that it wants me to fight? That was not it. Maybe that thing? Yeah, that's it. There's an ancient darkness emanating from this mysterious foe. Now I have to talk to Gonbury Gon again. It's so difficult to get to him, you know? It's not a matter of just going south, you have to... find the right little paths to go up. Let me see what the best way is gonna be. I don't know. Let me try to backtrack out of the woods. A giant tree, man. Okay, yeah, that should take me... I was wondering where the other stable was. I unlocked that one. And I unlocked that one, I think. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no good stable here. Unless it's an old Anorian. I guess I could go to Krithost. But I removed my Krithost milestone. That was stupid of me. I shouldn't have done that. Need to actually go this way in order to get in the city. I like how they put the milestone marker outside because it wouldn't really fit into the architecture here, I guess. Uh, let me come up through here, actually. Of 
Where as tricky as it is to maneuver around this map, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job considering my track record of always being lost all the time. I would have certainly expected a more disastrous season for for myself. I've been doing okay though. See, I remember this branch point. This is the tricky one. You kind of have to go north. You have to go the opposite way. And then wind back around. Okay, gone booty gone. You described to Gon Burigan the strange creature that frightened rude Pulujat and attacked you. You describe Dagoon. They not from Durdan Forest. Recently come here from unknown around same time as Witch Roll turned to shadow. Dagoon now threatened too when they attack you and rude Pulujat. Must keep balance, yet so many pushing rocks. The Aqua Curio protects us. Once Aqua Curio breaks, no longer watches over Druidan. Druidane can rebuild Aqua Curio. First, we must make a new heart for Aqua Curio. You get Aqua Curio fragments. Bring them to Garbudi Bomb. He make Aqua Curio heart. Okay. Let me look at the map. Oh, that's gonna be kind of all over the place, huh? All right. Did I? I missed the milestone marker here. I really should have set a milestone there. I don't think I did. I did not. Dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna start riding north towards that milestone and just grab anything I can along the way. I don't like it when my quest tracker feels disorganized and congested. These quests are kind of all over the place. I don't want to catch everything back up, make sure everything is on the same logical page. Okay, very good. Across the bridge here. And then whenever I see a little path leading north, that's what I'll take. It's like up ahead, maybe. Yeah, let me go through here. Although it is tricky to maneuver around this map, I've noticed that everything is on a road, you know? You just have to find the right road. Try to come up here to the quest tracker. There's the ward piece. Very good. So these are uniques that I have to find. So even that one is uniquely placed. Okay, let me just start chasing these down, I guess. I know I mentioned this in a previous episode, but for whatever reason, the music here and the atmosphere is really making me crave play playing Age of Empires. It's been on my to-do list, just haven't had a good opportunity to do it yet, but... 
It's making me want to play. I guess it's kind of similar to the music that you get in the the Stone Age, maybe, when you're playing that game. And again, these spiders have quest rings because they have a repeatable quest I've already done, so that's why I'm ignoring that. Yeah, 2023 has been a super, super busy year for Renaissance Gaming, trying to maintain my promise of at least one video per day. And then on top of that, I started Old School RuneScape, and those have been bonus videos. So I've been very, very busy, and to be fully honest with you guys, I've been too busy. I love doing it. There's definitely no burnout or anything. I never feel like, oh man, I gotta record a video. I'm always excited to do it. The problem is... It takes so much time, and it has taken so much time that it's just difficult to do everything else in my life. And so I realized I'm spending too much time on the channel. So for 2024, I'm probably going to scale down a little bit. The Lord of the Rings Online series is going to remain unchanged. I will always keep doing at least three videos per week for that. But I'm mainly talking about like the single player games instead of pressuring myself to make sure... There's something going up every day. I want to be able to take my time with the single player games and do it when it's ready. Yeah, some weeks I'm putting like full time hours into the channel. And it's just kind of crazy trying to do that while, you know, working and taking care of dogs and everything else that life has in terms of responsibilities. It's been a lot of fun, but it's definitely been challenging. So, gonna scale back the single player games a little bit next year. Alright, I need one more, which is all the way to the east. Yeah, there's been a lot of pressure to get a video up every day, so a lot of the, well, not a lot of the times, but some of the single player games I've done, I chose specifically because they would be very easy for me to record, as opposed to trying to get something off of my list that I really want to do. Because a lot of those games will require a lot more time, and I just wouldn't have time to do them while keeping this, the one video per day schedule. So I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to put off a game because I don't have enough time to record it. I want to be able to do it and release it when it's ready, if that makes sense. That's enough rambling, though. Nobody wants to hear about how I'm scaling down the channel a little bit, you know? They want to hear about how it's ramping up. The quality is always ramping up, though. I'm always striving to do better, play better, better commentary. If anything, I might do Lord of the Rings Online four times a week moving forward because Lord of the Rings Online is actually relatively easy for me to record compared to other games because I really just hit the record button and play the game and have fun. And that's all there is to it. Whereas for the single player games, I research, I route, I practice. It takes a lot of work. All right, I need to find my way back into that city. Let me go this way, actually. Looks like I can climb this cliff from the east. Or maybe not. I feel like I'm going completely the wrong way. Yeah, no, see, I thought I would be able to... Climb up through here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this road will get me there. Perfect. I think we've been doing a lot of back and forth here, so... I'm going to fast forward my ride back to Gone Booty Gone.
I listen to the drummings. They speak of danger. You hand the fragments to Gar Booty Bomb. His expression remains serious and he begins to tinker away with bits of stone. Gotta wait a few seconds here for him to finish up. It seems that Gar Booty Bomb has finished working with the Pukulman statue fragments you gave him. Wind through the leaves. The Woes looks up and hands you a mysterious object of intricate stonework. You are not sure how anyone could create something so detailed out of stone so quickly. All right. Go talk to the boss again. Our booty bomb has made a aqua curio heart. I see this. I have good words. Rude Puludrat has returned to Drew Buta. The heart draws him a line of safety of the village. Go speak with Rude Puludrat. He come back to Drew Buta. Bring Rude Puludrat the aqua curio heart. He is wise, Druidan, and always has good thoughts. They come to him from the hearts of the ancients. Blade of the Three Merrymakers. Interesting quest name. By the way, I haven't done much shilling recently. But, as always, there is a link to my Discord server in the description. I'd appreciate it if you guys joined. We have some fun discussions in there sometimes, and... I think once I start going back to some of the older content that I missed along the way, like... I still need to do some of the more tricky chicken runs, I might have to do a few raids and things like that. I think it might be nice if I can ask you guys on the Discord for help if anybody wants to group up and get some of that content taken care of. Anyway. Oh, uh, this is the repeatable guy. Wrong guy, wrong guy. Yeah, join the Discord. I might need your guys' help for some of the content moving forward. You hand the mysterious Aqua Kurio heart to Rude Puludrat. He looks it over. Very, very good. This heart beats strong. You a good heart. Sorry, I ran away from Hobbit. Thought you were Dagoon. Now I have plan. Aqua Kurio protect Juridan, but many broken. Some in pieces, others just not work. I have thought to fix the Okwakuryu, who just not work. Need your help, hobbits. Come with me. Rude Pulodrat, a wise druidan, leads you to a sacred grove of Pukulman statues in order to ward away the mysterious beasts that invade the druidan forest. This way. Let's go, sir. This Luke Kakat, sacred place. Place of joy and worship of Okokuryu. Juridan bring corpses of Gorgun we slay to this place. Must perform ritual to cleanse this place of Dagoon. Please keep watchful eye. This hidden glade must be very sacred place to the Wozis. Rude Polodrot seems nervous. They really do bring the corpses of their enemies here. Look at that, my god.
A strange howling sound emanates from the Pukkoman statue. Few more coming in. I clear out all these waves. Where's the other one? There's usually two. Anyone else? Yeah, back there. He's coming in hot. Dead. Couple more here. An elder. Where's he going? There we go. It is done. The trees die and do not return. The Okwakuryu here are awake again. Their hearts beat like sap through Drugud. Balance has come to Luk Kakat. Let us return to Drubuta. Drubuta must hear of this new tale. So now, yeah, let me talk with this guy here. Rocks fall from the mountain. The ancients look down upon us, even in darkness and cold. I let them guide me further still. There is more to be done, hobbits. I am worried of the shadows. We know Degun can be driven back to unknown. Find them, Hobbit. Send them back. Alright, so I gotta kill 10 of those. Let's see, they're everywhere. What's over here? Hmm. Trying to think. I think I'm gonna start riding north back up to this quest hub. So I can start working on some of these quests and I'll definitely be killing any enemies along the way that I need for this quest. I think that's the best next course of action for me. Let's roll. Need to take the northern road. I definitely should have set my milestone over at that Rohirrim camp. Lesson learned though. I'll be more liberal with how I set my milestones. Okay, let's see, let me, let me go like northwest. Gotta find 10 Dagoons, and they're pretty rare it looks like, I'm not seeing many. 
I probably don't hang out too much on the road. To be fair. Probably off the path a little bit. It is annoying when you have a quest where like the whole map is highlighted. It's like, well, there you go. The enemy can be anywhere. Good luck. I don't know why I came up here. It doesn't make sense. I, think I need to keep following this way. Yeah, I'm almost up to the camp and I haven't run by a single Dagoon. Oh well. Let me go set a milestone over here and then I'm gonna start working on some of these quests. Let me actually check my quest tracker, make sure nothing fell off. I'm gonna take the epic off for right now. I'm not gonna worry about it. Everything else is still on there. Good. Let me see. Milestone should be just ahead. There it is. Okay. So, let's see. What is this one right here? Surikila. I don't need to go to Fork Hill anytime soon. Although, this is not a milestone skill. This is something else. Let me change the Thor's Kroom one. I'm not going to go there anytime soon either. Let me switch these two. There you go. Okay. Now, from here... Let me go to Aelnok. There's another bounty quest there. So, let me start making my way up that way. Hopefully, I'll find some Dagoon along the way. It says they should be everywhere, but they are nowhere. Oh, that swamp land. I didn't realize it was so swampy over there. Which way am I facing? That is to the north. Okay, so swamp to the north. Kind of curious now, actually. Where is that? Okay, so I'm looking at over here. Kind of like the estuary. Wait, did these count? They do. Let me kill these orcs. Two more of those. I'm gonna ignore that one. That way I can fight these two here. Okay, so we're done with that one. So I need to find some Dagoon. Ah, man. So I think what I'm going to do is I will meet you back over at the Rohirrim camp for the next episode. I'm going to call it for this one, and then I'll come up with a more effective strategy for hunting these 10 enemies down. Should be better than just running around aimlessly. So thanks for watching, as always. 
I'll see you on the next episode. Enjoy this view. Look at that. Very nice. Cool. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.